Hey there, what's up you guys? It's me, your boy JD, and welcome back to the channel. And for today's episode, I am going to be doing a performance review on the LeBron 9, which is actually a sneaker that came out about 11 years ago because now may LeBron 20, na guys. And imagine that LeBron's been in the league for 20 years, and now they retro the LeBron 9, now that the LeBron 19 is already out. Just like with the Luca one, we are going to be doing a scoreboard for the sneakers so that we have statistical score for the things that categories ng nere review kung sneakers dito sa channel. So if you guys want to catch my performance review on the Luca one, link is gonna be somewhere up there. And all you guys have to do is click that. All right. So before we begin, I'd like to invite you guys to please do, of course, subscribe guys to the channel and of course like the video and share it with your friends so that may jolong pay new channel and it will definitely help us out a lot here dito sa aming channel ng GDN reviews. So with that. Let's start. So all right, so for the traction pattern, as you guys can see on the clip, it's those snowflake-like material on the forefoot area and on the sides until the heel area. You guys see that like web-like design on the traction pattern. So for this one, it acts more as a suction cup system rather than your normal thread like, which is like the herringbone traction pattern. So with that kind of setup, it does give you that really good grip on the wooden court. But when it comes to the dusty court setting, in my outdoor courts, major problematic. Siya. So I was able to try this sneaker out in three different courts, two outdoor courts and one indoor court. So on the indoor court, it grips exceptionally well. So it's a sneaker that surprisingly for our LeBron, it grips well on an indoor court. Now for the outdoor court, if the outdoor court it's not dusty it's gonna grip very well as well pero kung dusty yung court or medyo uh yun nga mabuhangin uh, maalikabok yeah so you're gonna have problems you're probably gonna be slipping here and there when it comes to the traction pattern now for the durability of course it is translucent but for the price point of the sneaker it's a bit durable comparing it to what the LeBron 19 is. The interaction pattern in LeBron 19 is not that durable, but with this one, surprisingly, medyo durable naman yung traction niya. So for the traction, I'm gonna be giving it a score of actually 3.5 over 5. And the reason for that is because I'd expect more, honestly, sa dusty setting. Kasi syempre, you do want to get really good traction. Don't get me wrong, the traction is really good, but I was expecting a little bit more, even on the dusty setting, especially for the press point that you're making. Now moving on to the cushioning setup, of course it's a LeBron sneaker so you're not gonna have any problems on lack of cushioning. They are using a full 180 degree Air Max unit on the heel to the midfoot area and then on the forefoot you do have that large volume zoom unit. I'm not entirely sure kung ano classing zoom unit yung ginamit nila but you can definitely feel it there. So for the cushioning setup, you got your comfort on the heel and of course you've got the responsiveness on the forefoot so you're pretty much good to go. It's a LeBron sneaker. But it, they're never gonna lack on the cushioning setup when it comes to the LeBron sneaker. But one thing that surprised me with the LeBron 9, comparing it to the previous LeBron signature shoes that's been coming out over the previous years, this one actually has court feel. So if you are a guard that wants the really good cushioning setup and then at the same time, maybe a high cut or a more supportive sneaker on your ankle area and then at the same time, you really want court feel and support the cushion, this sneaker will definitely give you that. So that's something that I was very surprised with the LeBron. So for the cushioning setup, I'd give it a 5 over 5 because perfect court feel and at the same time, that cushioning setup on the sneaker is really, really great. Moving on to the materials, you know, it's very timely for what it was 11 years ago. It's full of this synthetic materials, all these plasticky synthetic materials. My auntie mesha. The shoe is surprisingly light to the feel, but of course, it's a bit tight, so it hugs the materials really make your foot in there. Like it's medyo mahigpit siya, okay? So masikip, sikip yung sneaker. So we're gonna get into that later. But with the materials, the one thing that I do like about it is it's gonna be durable. So it's definitely durable because of the materials that they use in here and you're definitely supported by the materials as well. So for the materials, I'm gonna give it a four over five. And the reason why I'm gonna give it four over five and not a perfect score is because with the way sneakers are built now, you can actually create a sneaker that's lightweight but at the same time, it's gonna be durable. Now moving on to the fit support and the lockdown. So usually, of course, it's one category. So for the fit, my suggestion would be go through to size if, if you are a narrow footer. But if you're a wide footer, my suggestion would be go up half a size because the shoe does fit a bit narrow. It does fit a bit snug. And um, th that's it. That's the reason why you might want to go up half a size. But if you are a narrow footer or like me, a mid-arc kind of guy, you might want to go to the size. 
Now, going on to the support, you do have all the supportive features that you'd want in the sneaker. First of all, the materials, like what I said, is very supportive. You have that shank plate on the middle of your foot, which is made out of carbon fiber. So you're definitely supported within the sneaker. It has a regular heel counter, which is very, very good as well. And of course, that wide base. And even though the shoe is actually narrow, it does have that wide base of support. So you won't really roll your ankles here and there. So even if narrow is at the ass on this area, even if it's narrow right here, that wide base of support right here it will definitely support you with any movement that you create. And of course, it's high cut so you'd feel that little bit of ankle restriction for the support that you're looking as well. So for the lockdown, again, the shoe does fit very narrow so it is a very snug fit shoe. So if you guys like snug fit, the sneaker will definitely give you that. So for the fit support and the lockdown, I will definitely give it a 5 over 5 because overall the containment within the sneaker, the way I felt within the sneaker, I felt very super secure and comfortable at the same time i didn't feel like the shoe was hogging like it was hogging all the space around me it was like hugging my foot down it didn't feel any of that problem it's not like the lebron 17 oh my god the lebron 17 if you guys ever played in that that was a really really bad sneaker to try and hoop in <laughs> especially if you don't go up like full size or half size with that so yeah five over five for the fit support and the lockdown so alright, for the aesthetics, I definitely give it a 5 over 5 and the reason for that is because it's a classic looking sneaker. I actually wanted the big bag colorway as you guys can see here but unfortunately, it ran out of stock last August when Nike had a big sale so ito lang yung nakop ko for a very very good discounted price. So ito na lang yung nakuha ko but definitely grew on me. It's still a good looking sneaker. It was the second option that I was willing to go for. I'd rather choose this over the throne colorway because that one uh, medyo baka hindi ko nagamitin kasi masyado na maganda yung color rika, hindi ko nagamitin. But for this one, definitely grew on me. It's a sneaker that I can definitely pair with a lot more fits and a lot more drip maybe. But honestly, this South Coast colorway is a really good sneaker. So for the aesthetics overall, I like the way the sneaker looks. It's classic looking and at the same time, it's not so modern as well. So I'll give it a 5 over 5 for that one. So with an average score of 4.5, I think that the LeBron 9, considering that the shoe came out 11 years ago, is still a great performing sneaker. So if you guys are a LeBron fan, but at the same time, medyo nahihirapan ka mga cop ng LeBron 20, the LeBron 9 is actually a very good alternative, especially if you want to use it for playing. Especially the fact that these guys are actually going on sale right now. If you go to Titan, any Titan store, or actually I think the Nike app still has it. So if you guys are looking for a really good alternative na LeBron sneaker, the LeBron 9 is such a solid option for you. Anyways guys, with that being said, that is my performance review on the LeBron 9. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to subscribe. And of course, like your hit the thumbs up button down below. And of course, share it to your friends. Anyways guys, this was your boy Lady. I'll see you on the next episode.